just some good old roasted red pepper egg bites. And as you can tell, the van is completely cleared out. I'm down at my mom's house, so I am going into town, uh, the couple towns over, like a major town to go to Lowe's, go to Hobby Lobby, um, get some groceries for myself, cause I'm like, I need to eat healthy. Uh, but I am super excited for today because today we start the official van build. As you can tell, it's all cleared out. It's spray foams. I do have like the conduit and outlet. So the main thing today that we're going to be doing is the flooring and then definitely one side of the walls and maybe, I don't know, <laughs> maybe the ceiling. Um, and definitely gets enough plywood to remake a bed frame and enough wood to make some cabinetry that would go above or below. So long story short, the bed that came with the van, huge queen size memory foam mattress that she had. You know, I bought purchased this from an older lady so she needed a comfy bed and it was so comfy. But her bed frame, was just, it sat on plywood. So there was no air ventilation. So whenever I thought, okay, I can use her bed frame that she had and I can use her mattress, actually cut down both those things. Cause really all I need is like a twin size mattress, if not smaller in the width of it. Um, I'm like, okay, I can reuse her memory foam, just cut it, you know, with an X-Acto knife. That'd be super easy. So whenever I tear everything out and I flip the mattress upside down to like unzip it because it actually had a cover over the, the memory foam, I looked at the back bottom part of the mattress. I'm like, it's covered, covered in black mold, mold that was black. Who knows if it was black mold, but all I knew is it was mold and it was black and it was everywhere on the bottom. And I thought, okay, maybe, maybe something spilled, maybe it's just on the cover, or maybe the cover was thick enough and it was like waterproof, like had waterproof fabric. I unzip it and the whole inside of the mattress, the memory foam covered in mold. So I've been sleeping in mold <laughs> for the past two weeks. Um, so I'm sure I'm fine because I didn't disturb it until I like moved everything out. But anyway, so the idea of reusing the mattress that she had and the bed frame that she had, that's out the window. So we have a new mattress coming on the way that's a twin size. Um, and I should have brought a tape measure. Um, and I'm just gonna rebuild the bed frame with slats instead of just plywood. So there can be a little bit of air ventilation underneath the mattress. But anyways, the walls are spray foamed. It's prepped ready to go and that's what we're going to be doing today going into town go to Lowe's a couple different stores and I need some healthy food just for me but I'm I'm down in my hometown house sitting for my mom and dog sitting because for the next couple of days she will be uh in another state going to my brother's girlfriend's graduation so they're all there with my like grandma and I think my great aunt so they're having a good time, but this gives me the free time to renovate, and that's what we're doing. Anyways, I keep rambling. I will talk to you guys later.
$250 later, we have, <laughs> at least hopefully, most if not all of my wood supplies to build cabinetry. Yeah, in the, yes, in the bed. So <sighs> I'm gonna run over to Hobby Lobby and get some fabric because I need to make curtains for the back that are super cute. I really wanna do definitely more of a solid white with a pretty lace at the bottom. So hopefully the, if the fabric is, you know, like 40% off, um, I'll go ahead and do that and then go to the store and then go home and start with the build. I cannot believe it. <laughs> sweet friends I had to go back to Lowe's because I totally forgot about the laminate flooring and then also I got some more reflective insulation and then I purchased the most precious the most precious eyelet fabric from Joann's and instead of it being 25 per yard it was $10 per yard look how absolutely beautiful this fabric is are you kidding me and I got two yards and it's already folded so I basically have like four yards of fabric um, for the those windows in the back and that will be absolutely so precious so anyways I'm gonna take the back roads home because it's gorgeous from <laughs> I'm from southern Indiana and it's just gorgeous here um, so I miss it because I've been working and staying up north <laughs> where it's flat so I'm going to go take a nice little drive through the countryside on the way home and I'll be sure to share some of the beautiful, beautiful scenic views with you guys, but I gotta head back. I gotta go let Suki out, so I'll talk to you guys later. go good morning sweet friends it is sunday may 19th and if you cannot tell the floors are pretty much prepped to do the laminate 
and I want to show you this beautiful color that I got. Um, now this was probably, this is, uh, the brand is Style Selections and I got this from Lowe's. It was one of the cheaper options that they had. It was like, I think it was like a dollar per square foot or something like that. So this whole box I think was under $30, but look how pretty that color and I love the large plank. So I'm eager to see, yeah, these are snap on. Um, so I am excited to see what it will look like in the van. Um, I just have to, uh, I definitely want to get some nails. I wish I had a nail gun, but I need to get some nails to just hammer in definitely the border so that it stays intact. Um, but yeah, I need to finish up. I have a couple pieces left. I ran out of duct tape, but I do have some other duct tape, I believe. So, Ooh, sorry. Those birds are going crazy. So I need to wrap that up and then we can, uh, luckily, yeah, these are not, these are thick. These cannot be cut by an X-Acto knife. That is for sure. So luckily I have the DeWalt handsaw and I think that will be perfect. But yeah, let's get started with finishing up the floor so that we can finally touch on the walls the framing, the framing in the walls, and then put up some panels, hopefully put up the ceiling, and then um, also um, the bed frame, the bed frame as well. So a, a big day, a long day in front of me, but I am excited to start seeing the vision <laughs> come to life. So let's get started. I'm looking absolutely rough, but it is about 15 till six. I am looking so rough. It has been a long day, but I took an hour nap. I'm not gonna lie from four to five. And so it's just 
al it's almost 6 p.m. right now and I have just been putting up some framing uh, so that my beadboard and particle board can attach to something. So yes, <laughs> it, has been, it has been a pain. It's been a learning curve. I totally dropped one of the particle boards on my big toe and it is, it is black. So that happened around 3.30 and it just kept throbbing. So from four to five, I took a nap and then of course I woke up and it hurt even worse, but I'm just pushing through the pain because I'm trying to get this baby at least get the walls up and start moving the furniture back in by the end of the, by the end of tonight. I don't know if that's realistic or not, but that's the goal. I really want to be done with this by tomorrow, just with the whole, obviously the electrical and the AC, the solar, that will all have to wait. There's a, a fridge on the way. All that will have to wait. And also the mattress is being shipped right now as well. So I don't know where I'm going to sleep, but um, at least we're making some progress and I'll update you guys whenever I start putting the particle board on. <laughs> Hey, sweet friends I am a horrible horrible vlogger and honestly I feel like these videos are not necessarily tutorials I'm merely just sharing this journey with you all if you have any questions of where I found certain items or just I guess how I put it together I would definitely love to do a Q&A video or maybe something more in depth but for the most part I am not a carpenter. <laughs> I am not an electrician. So a lot of pretty much 95% of this build is where I'm flying by the seat of my pants, but I'm at that point in my life um, and it's a little bit fun for me right now. So I'm just enjoying the process. You guys know I love interior decorating. So I merely just want to get this somewhat livable <laughs> so that i can start making this place my own i want to thank you all so so much from the bottom of my heart for watching this very first van 2.0 conversion vlog i hope you enjoyed it i hope it was a little bit aesthetic i hope it's gotten you excited to maybe go after your dreams or maybe even start doing your own van build like i said i'm just a girl <laughs> I've made many mistakes along the way, some costly, some uh, a little bit stupid, like almost breaking my toe <laughs> with the big board. But we're just enjoying this process, and I just want to thank you for coming along with me. This is part one, so part two, we will have the solar panels up. A lot more things will be completed, and I just want to thank you for watching this video please be sure to hit that subscribe button go check me out on instagram at olivia effie i hope you guys have a very blessed day and stay tuned for the next one remember that every day is a new opportunity to leave someone better than you found them bye guys <laughs>